What's happening guys, welcome to the Better Movie Podcast, I am your host Matt Sloan, this is the Movie Review, and today we have... King of Impossible! So, we have Mr. Flash Gordon, now if you don't know Flash Gordon, then where have you been? Um, it's Flash Gordon, the oh pop culture God. icon. Now we're going to be talking about the thing that kind of started it all, the movie. Let's talk about let's talk about the plot in this movie. So we have Flash Gordon, our All American, All Star quarterback, football extraordinaire, getting what I can only describe as roped into um, a battle for the fate of the universe. Um, <laughs> and for the fate of Earth. He gets kidnapped. Just say it. Kidnapped. <laughs> he, does, he does get kidnapped. I mean, it's it's the it's the strangest kidnapping in movies. It's like step into my step into this room. That Yo, also yeah, happened. Step in here. <laughs> you know, big grooming bearded guy. Step into the big, room, Flash. Big, big scary Russian doctor guy. Step into my room, flashing your strange new girlfriend. Yeah, and, follow the girl. While I follow it, the white rabbit. It just so happens. And I promise you, it's not Flash. I promise you, it's not a spaceship that's gonna blast you into outer, outer space. I swear to God, Flash. It was a hot dog. <laughs> hot dog spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Flash goes um, to do battle with the evil Emperor Ming. Ming the Merciless, Ming played the by Merciless. Max von Sydow from The Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> from The Exorcist and many, many, many more. One of our earlier racially motivated uh, roles. <laughs> <laughs> Me as Fu Manchu. Ming, <laughs> Ming does have a great Fu Manchu. It is an is it an epic Fu Manchu to be it fair. Is epic. It's I gotta so say it's, it's pristine. Ooh, I'm gonna say it's epic. <laughs> it's pristine, isn't it? What was up with that scene with um where he uses his magic ring, you know, to entrance? Oh, the uh, mind Dale control to do with the, Dale to do the dance for everyone. Yeah, not I was just for him, but for everyone. I was a bit confused with that. I was like, I didn't really understand what was going on, and then I, I was did. like, I understood. I was like, oh. <laughs> Oh, it kind of took me a second. Were you like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh? No, I, mean, I was a bit like, what's she doing? And then I was like, oh. Okay. Well, well, with your <laughs> with your young eyes, did you find it sexy? Because with mine, I was like about ten, fourteen, whatever. <laughs> um, did you find it sexy? I don't know if I found it sexy more, just a bit like uncomfortable. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Well, more uncomfortable because his daughter, played by Onella yeah. Utai, oh my God, yeah, she, she should have done the dance. Yeah, she should have done great. the dance. <laughs> when we talk about Ornella in this movie, though, please do, like, please do. Like the a crazy, crazy character, Princess Princess Aura, Ooh. I think. Yeah, is yeah, the, yeah. Is I think the, it is Princess is Aura. Princess Aura. So she is literally well, like. like the she's the, having sex with everyone yeah did yeah the, the <laughs> impression that i got she's literally had sex with everyone in the universe <laughs> like i don't know I, I mean fair play flash F- flash flash absolutely <laughs> does his best to give her the cold shoulder and yeah well you know he's thinking about dale dale is kind of cute <laughs> dale, yeah, dale's pretty good dale's pretty good he's yeah. like yeah man but that to me it was just like do you know what flash as a character what a great mo- role model <laughs> what a gr- what a great role model! Even even like in the way I like thought tele- telepathy to each other, and he's like, "This girl's really hot. She's really turning me on." <laughs> it's like, yes, Flash. At least we all acknowledge that, lads. We all knew it was happening. He's, he's, he is just a great role model. I feel, really feel like he manages the, to unify, you know, these races by a simple game of football. Uh, I mean, I quite like American football, to be honest. Um, I think it's a pretty cool game. Um, we see. We do see Flash at the start, and like throughout this movie, he is like a bit of a role model in t- to the to the viewer, not so much to like the other characters, but to the viewer, he's just like because he 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 is like the everyman. He 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 he, he cuts a he cuts a fine chip of a man. Yeah. In in white and red. <laughs> yes. yes. And I can say that as yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but I, I mean. Considering how one-dimensional Flash is as a character, I really kind of enjoyed him. And the amount of time he just spends in this movie struggling to, like, not crash or not not die mm. was commendable. Man's got endurance. Man's got a lot of endurance. <laughs> Ain't never given up. 
Now we get that <laughs> Flash. <laughs> so who else have we got in this movie? We've got we've got Emperor Ming, we've got Max how do you how do you say Max's name? Max von Sydow. Max von Sydow. Now I looked up Max because I was like, I've seen him in like I've seen him, I recognised him loads. I've just the first time I've ever seen Flash Gordon. Yeah. Um yeah, it, I know, no. Nice I know one. The Exorcist is one of his main roles. He was Father Marin. Yeah, Father Marin in the Exorcist. He's also <laughs> he's in every other film that you ha- that you haven't seen. Like yeah. he's in Rush Hour Three. <gasps> oh my god. He's in Rush Hour Three. <laughs> I think he was on the Bridge of River Kwai. <laughs> Bridge of River Kwai. Um I think so. he's I'm in sure. um what is that movie with DiCaprio? Um Shutter Island. Oh, he's yeah, in Shutter I Island. That, but yeah. <laughs> um, what else is um, this was a cool fu- this was a cool fact that I found out. Um, so I'm I quite like my video games, mm. and turns out our mate Max did um, or does a lot of good voice acting. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and turns out he's in he's he's does the voice for a character called Espen in the game The Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Now, being a bit of a Skyrim fan, oh. I was like, oh my god, no way. Because <laughs> it's just like, he just plays this super all powerful guy who can shout with his voice and make power. Wow, sounds kind of like a Patrick Warburton. <laughs> he was always doing the voices of everything from the tits yeah. to all kind of. When you said Skyrim, I was thinking about Skylanders, but that, no. So. No. <laughs> but do you recognize <laughs> Prince Baron? Prince Baron, the one, the only, Timothy Dalton. Hell yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I did I did that whole thing when I seen him for the first time on this week. I was like, oh my God, it's funny. It's, it's, it's a dude from the film. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we got Timothy Dalton, the legend that is. Legend. I mean, you can say he's James Bond, mm-hmm. but I would like to say he's James Bond-ish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sort of James Bond. He's a sort of James Bond. He's like the temporary James Bond. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like that James substitute Bond's James uncle, Bond. Brother, whatever. <laughs> John Bond. Because <laughs> <laughs> of Johnny, you cannot go around with me. <laughs> Johnny, you been you stole my MI5 details again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you leave my car <laughs> in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take the Aston Martin out anymore. No. Not <laughs> <laughs> the last time. Yeah, but your girl's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that was really kind of messed up, though, because he got his girl, his girlfriend, um, brought when she kidnapped Smash uh, after faking his death, and then you know she had a doctor because hey, you know whatever she did to him, and then she took him over to Prince Baron's place and everything. Yeah, and she's like, yeah. take care of Flash. Like, oh, I'll take care of Flash. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take care of him till he's dead. Yeah. I, I, that, that scene for me was kind of like, okay, like that, the <laughs> Princess Aura is just a bit of a, yeah, uh, a bike, shall we say? Ooh, yeah, like, bike. The, the royal bike. <laughs> She's the royal bike. She's the royal bike. <laughs> um, I was just a bit like, uh, I was a bit, I was a bit gutted because I kind of wanted to see more of her. As of course like she did, but you character. know what? She changed well, we, clothes yeah. every two seconds. Great outfit changes. I mean, the outfits in this movie, just in general, the costume design was awesome. The costume design, also the set design, mm. is is crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that that platform that you know the oscillating platform yeah, that they had the to fight, fight yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> when the spikes come up, spike come up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not that one. No, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that scene. That yeah. was that was like probably. One of my favorite scenes in the film, yeah. just because it's so dramatic. And yeah. it's like the fight itself is <laughs> awful. Yeah, it's so, it's so dramatic bad. with nothing happening. But yeah, but but absolutely it feels nothing like happens because you're in a city in the sky, yeah. and it's that whole you know, uh, you know, as a filmmaker, you got to get that shot. So it's that whole shot that they could actually fall off of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was you know thinking, I, mean? I was thinking, is someone is someone gonna go, and then yeah, so so it goes towards the end and. Turns out they're okay. So wait a minute, can I give you my favorite line of dialogue? You sure can, Chase? Gordon's alive. Gordon's alive. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Brian Blessed, I think, is still alive and he's still delivering that line. Brian Blessed was. Oh, I I just loved I just loved the classic. Just die, die, die. 
<laughs> oh, when he's flying. Yeah. Dive. I thought he was saying dive. Yeah. <laughs> Are you dive. sure he wasn't saying dive? <laughs> I think he was saying dive because they were all flying. No, because that, that was a great flying sequence. Like, yeah. they're all on some kind of wires. <laughs> but then he's like, dive. <laughs> I thought they were saying die. I thought he was I don't like, know, man. You know what? You know what? In the comments below. What were they saying? Were they saying die or were they saying dive? If anyone knows Brian and can get him to comment, um, please do. <laughs> and do it in his <laughs> voice, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Brian Blessed's in this movie. He, he graces us with his presence on the screen. The only bad thing I don't like about Brian in this movie is he needs more pants. <laughs> He has some big boy diapers on. He has some <laughs> small big boy diapers on. <laughs> Wasn't looking that close, man. They were like, <laughs> I could, I could, I could, I was like, <laughs> whoa. It was in my face. It, it was, was just, it face. was just there. <laughs> it was just there, man. Yeah, like, it was just there. It was just there. I just the whole Hawkman, though. Like, I love the whole Hawkman kind of scenario. Yeah, I, 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 I loved it. I did not like how short the pants were. No, it was just a bit like, okay, I like, and I think. In this movie, there is a lot of, like, over-sexualization of stuff. Well, yeah, well, I mean, especially with Princess Aura. Hell yeah, but, um, <laughs> You know, the only thing I gotta say that I didn't, uh, that I didn't like, you know, uh, obviously because I'm older than you, but, you know, uh, Prince Thun. Yeah. Right? So, they had the one scene with the Black Warriors coming in, right? Yeah. <laughs> and everything, you know, paying tribute and stuff. And so, the king of the Black Warriors was Prince Thun. Yeah. But I w I'm old enough to remember the... Flash cartoon. Oh, okay. You know, um, the kids cartoon from the 70s. And so, uh, where they uh, did the Flash Gordon things. And Prince Dunn was portrayed as a lion man. Oh, right, okay. You know what I mean? So instead of you, just being some dude. Yeah, instead yeah. of just being some fucking dude. Right? He was a lion man. Yeah. And I was like, what is Prince Dunn? One of my favorite characters. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm gutting I'm like, that, wait a minute. Know. He just called himself Dunn. But that's, oh, man. That's <laughs> disappointing. <the Prince>. <laughs> I, I mean, to, to me, it was just like a throwaway character. Nah, I'm not, but he's one of the team. He's, yeah. he's, he's Team Flash. Yeah. <laughs> he's one of the Team Flash. That's, that's crazy, man. Yeah, it is, it is, man. But, you know, I just had to drop that in. Sorry. That's crazy. <laughs> There's one more character I want to talk about mm. in this movie, and he is my favorite character in this movie. Mm. It is none other than the character of Clytus. <laughs> now, robot man in a robe, <laughs> r black goth robe, gold skullhead, Sammy up. That was that. I lo I loved it. I thought he was genuinely like a genuinely evil Did, character. Do you remember that part where he kind of like licked his lips when he was looking at her? Yeah, oh, you're a nasty little uh, girl. Your daddy's gonna give me to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, give it, you it, to me. He, he was he was like the one character who kind of like. It made me feel su super like yeah 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 like yeah. with everyone else it was just like okay and then he like every time he's on the screen he's just like oh shit's gonna go down like yeah yeah he's like he's like he, had to, he was just super scary man he was just I thought he was a great character and the way he dies is just like oh god with his oh, eyes popping yeah. out uh, yeah that horrible, was creepy that was creepy horrible man <laughs> Um, so you know, one of the things you talk about is got to be the music. So you can't can't not you talk can't about, talk about Queen. I should not talk about the music. Please. I mean, you have Queen doing the soundtrack. There's, there's not. There's. I mean, what Legends. else? What else you got to say? You got Queen, arguably in their prime, 1980, just busting out good old fashioned Flash Gordon, Freddie Mercury's vocal. Like, but you, you're you're an artist though, right? So I mean. Flash, the song it really only has that one verse, and oh, then yeah. it just <laughs> plays it over and I, over it's, again. It's it? more, it's more about like the. I would say it's definitely more about the, the that bass line and the music mm. in in that song. Like, hit every, me with uh, it, bro. You know it. Talk about it. I mean, like, just the way. It's like any good song, right? Where you set like set a scene and stuff. That as soon as that bass line comes in, you know it's Flash. <laughs> yeah? As soon as it happens. <laughs> Everyone gets ready to go. <gasps> Flash. Yeah. You know? No. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's it's built up. I mean, like the effects were so terrible when he was yeah. flying to the city, and it was like it was it was like the laser beams were like swords. Yeah. Did, 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 did the effects in this movie are out there, man? Like, there's totally just out there's there. I don't know who like whoever was in charge of the effects, but they were like, okay, so Star Wars has got a lot of lasers in it. Do you know what <laughs> yeah. we need to do, guys? Yeah. We need to put way more lasers in this movie, yeah. and because if we do. 
you, it'll be better. And, but like, we're going to be on jet skis. We're going to be sky. on jet skis. We're going to be in the sky, but not in space. But yeah. it's a jet ski, bro. It's a it's a rocket His rocket hair cycle. His not even like blowing. <laughs> you know what I mean? His hair's not even blowing. And I love it how convenient that jet cycle, that last yeah. jet cycle, just had to be there in the city full of hawks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who who's driving? Who's driving that car? <laughs> just been left there for twenty years. No. Man, no. <laughs> You know what I mean? But uh, nah, we'll live with it, bro. Because yeah. he's Flash. Because <laughs> he's Flash. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> like, even, even to the, like, the set designs and stuff like that, to the costume, the, the way they go from like place to place to place to place, because there's so many yeah. different like environments in this movie. And it's one of the things I actually really loved about it is it's just go, okay, one scene, doesn't give up, just not let up, straight yeah. to the next scene, straight to the next scene, straight to the next scene. And I feel like... It, Given given the time and and stuff like that, damn those sets look like insane. I mean, yeah, when you get to like the flying bit and the big vista shots, they well the force field awful. of swords. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, it's 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 not it's it's <laughs> it's not exactly what we call nah. high standards, is it? Nah. But the way I, I really loved the costumes, though I thought the costumes. Oh, yeah. were, well, were great. Dale's costumes. I mean, we t- said Ornella's or Aura's yeah. costume, but Dale, she has some magnificent costumes. Yeah, played truly. by the lovely Melody Anderson. Melody Anderson, one. Mm, she was. Mm, she uh, was. She was in Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. She was also in Josie and the Pussycats, I think. Oh no! Nice. Some version. I don't think so. <laughs> one, one version. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the fantasy of my boy. <laughs> Ming's on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ming's put a little spell on you there. Yeah, Ming's put a spell on me. So who should we recast in this movie? So definitely none of the women. Uh, definitely none of the women. <laughs> they they do their jobs great. Daltz does his job great. Brian does his job great. Mm. Flash is just you can't recast Flash. Nah, man. I mean, Sam J. Jones is still yeah. going around as Flash he, Gordon. He, he, he is. He he's is old Flash as fuck, Gordon, but he's yeah. still going around <laughs> in that. So, Dusty so, Flash. So, what about Ming? What about Ming? Who else would have played Ming since since um, since they did do that whole gender cross yeah um thing? I mean, like, what you know? Who who would you have selected as Ming? Ooh, because it's got to be someone who could command that like, kind of like power. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, the fear. Mm. Huh. Who, who, I oh. Mm. <laughs> you got me thinking though. You got me thinking though. Mm. I'll, I'll make it fair for you. You can also uh, choose uh, another nationality. It doesn't have to be an Asian character because okay. that's not what they were thinking back then. No, really, it really <laughs> wasn't, was it? <laughs> because if it was an Asian character, you would have to do Mako. Do you yeah. know who Mako is? I, I, Michael's been in everything from Green Hornet to uh, Jackie Chan. Bro. Right. I mean, he's, he's, you, would know, you would know him from yeah. the face, but that's his name is Mako, and he's been in everything, but he's always been a good guy, right? Yeah. You know, the old, and he's always been old. The old wise dude. Ever, no, dude, ever since he came out, <laughs> till the, he's, he's always been old, yeah. you know? But anyway, no. So, I mean, like, who who would it be? So, it could be a white guy as, as the evil Ming. <laughs> what have we got, like... What have we got a black guy to do it? <gasps> How dare you! <laughs> if, if we're going, if we're going, uh, if we're going all multi multicultural, well, you know, Jesus Christ, man, who would it be? I don't know. Um, maybe you could get like. Oh no, no. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to think. This is a tricky one. Who's your recast as Emperor Well, me? if you're going to go black, <laughs> in a time frame. Hey, always bet on black. I would say Bernie Casey. Bernie Casey. Yeah. And what would we know Bernie Casey from? Oh my God, he's so young. <laughs> I am. <don't know. laughs> he was in Shark's Machine. He did. He played a good guy in a lot of films. He was in I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And like, um, you know, but he's just a wise old, you know, uh, statesman. You know, like black character. I'm just thinking. You know, he's always played good guys. If I was going to, you know, hey, hey, can you do evil? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like <laughs> it. But, I mean, like, um, you know, jeez. Uh, <gasps> no, that won't work. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say it, though. <laughs> Sam Elliott. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Elliott. 
You know who Sam Elliott is? Please tell me you know who he is. I know you see him in everything, I know, bro. I know the name. I, he's, he's got the big mustache. White guy. He looks like a cowboy in everything he oh, does. You know, yeah, from the shakedown. Yeah, 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 Peter yeah, Weller. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Oh, Rick. <laughs> Like, if I had to be totally insane, that would be insane. <laughs> Sam Elliott is emperoring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that That's insane. what we're going for that. Oh, we're going oh, for that. <laughs> Sam Elliott is oh, emperoring. Oh, Guys, if 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 you think you've got a better idea than, um, <laughs> than Sam Elliott. You don't have a better idea than Sam Elliott. <laughs> 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 Let us know down below in the comments who you think should should play him for me. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay. Last bit then. So let's go. Well, let's let's go from the end of the original. Yeah. The end. Question mark. Oh my mark. god! Where he jumps up in the air and freezes. <laughs> Flash! <Yeah>. You <laughs> saved the <laughs> earth. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but you got no ship to take you back. <laughs> yeah. How does Flash get home? He doesn't. Is that the sequel, <laughs> dude? Dude, that's the cartoon. The cartoon was after. It was after the, <laughs> the cartoon was kind of like Flash's life in in this uh you know planet universe, and he was the hero. He was the you know yeah. the champion and shit. So you know, it's just more adventures of Flash. More Flash, but on Earth. No, in on on, Mon on Mongo, he stayed on Mongo. Oh, they all stayed on Mongo and everything like that, and so they just had more adventures together in nice. the cartoon. Yeah, you know. But I mean, obviously, that's what I'm just trying to say is if there was a sequel, you know, it'd have to be, you know, uh, on Mongo, <laughs> on Mongo with the team. <laughs> with the team, it would be like team Flash so on Mongo. It, it would it would end up being like a B movie adve Avengers <laughs> with Flash at the helm. It is, man. It is, it is. <laughs> You know what I mean? And, and Dr. Zarko becomes like the new scientist. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> That'd be sick. Well, oh my God. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> Especially if we get more costumes of uh, Princess Aura. <laughs> yes, more costumes. Loads more costumes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the Hawkman finally get pants. <laughs> that, that's like, that's a whole season. <laughs> that's a whole season. <laughs> that's a whole season. <laughs> <laughs> the Hawkman have got to get pants, man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Second class citizens, man. <laughs> Give them pants. <laughs> uh, Thank you very much for sitting through the experience of Flash Gordon with us. Uh, Flash! This is the Better Movie Podcast. I'm Matt Sloan. Take it easy. Gordon's alive!